another challenge. In a speech read for him by Vice President Gilbert Bukenya at the National Budget Consultative Workshop here in Kampala, the President noted that achievements government had registered in the past 20 years through public sector reforms were coming to nothing because of what he termed laxity in civil service. During the recent campaigns, and I was appalled by the poor quality of public service delivered by public servants. The president say that while positive economic growth in the country has led to social economic transformation of the majority over the last decade, there was still the challenge of pushing the country's per capita beyond the current $540. The key imperative here is the removal of the constraints to increasing the output, productivity and income of small, medium and large private businesses brought about by law availability of affordable electricity and inadequate physical transportation infrastructure. The president noted that all these objectives can only be achieved in a corruption-free environment. Museveni challenged the government watchdog institutions to have the bite, promising them his full support. First and foremost, I am declaring total war on corruption. I'm challenging the watchdog institutions, IGG, DPP, and corruption courts, ETC, to become more vigorous in fighting corruption. He also confirmed the decision by government not to renew contracts of permanent secretaries until after an assessment of their biannual performance. The retreat to review ministerial performance brought together government ministers and ministerial officials, district leaders and their accounting officers and resident district commissioners.